Hey rock lovers, how you doing? It's time for another rock hounding trip. This time I'm heading to West Texas. I'm gonna go to the Big Bend area, specifically Terlingua, Lajitas. See what I can find along the dirt roads and uh, dry creek beds, maybe the Rio Grande River. It's mostly private property out there, National Park and State Park land, which is off limits. So this is kind of a scouting trip for me. I do plan on coming back in the future when I can get on one of the, the paid hunts on some of the private property where I know the good stuff can be found. I had time to kill and <laughs> for some reason I chose early August while the nation is in the middle of this massive heat wave. So it's going to be really warm out there. I saw the forecast every day had a high of 104 but a low of 73. So the evenings and mornings should be beautiful. It's just the afternoons are going to be brutal. But I brought plenty of water. Got Ringo with me somewhere around here. We're going to check into a little spot near Terlingua and get started. I will film any in, anything interesting I find along the way and take those interesting finds back to the shop and hopefully we can turn them into some beautiful lapidary projects. So come along. Well, I got checked in, got Rango put away in the room, and now I'm just out here in this dry creek bed, not far from where I'm staying, just looking around. I'm not really set up to do any serious rock hounding. I'm just wearing my shorts and flip-flops, but I thought I would come out and just kind of scout the area and see what I can see. And it looks like I've already found a cool rock. Let me show you. Okay, this one right here looks really interesting. Check it out. See that chalcedony right there? This is some kind of agate, I do believe. It's the morning of my first full day out here in West Texas. I found a spot out on some county road. Honestly, I have no idea where I am. I'm kind of lost, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it was fun getting here, so it should be fun getting back out. Anyway, I was just checking out these rocks over here, seeing what, it, what I could find. And I found something really cool. Check this out. I picked up this rock here and I chipped the edge off it and got it wet. And as you can see, it's definitely a mossy agate in there. You see that mossiness? It's kind of hard to tell, but around that red and orange. Look at that. That'll be fun to take back to the shop and get some slabs off of it. What do you think? Check out this crazy looking rock I just found. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it's a rock with some really bad disease. But seeing those little... Mm, barnacle looking things on this makes me want to take this one home and cut it open it looks like maybe these are just some interesting mineral formations around some boring plain rock but you never know i'll get it home and i'll split this thing open we'll see what's inside i think i just found a big piece of petrified wood that's what it looks like to me i do find a lot of this where i live in central texas so i'm going to call this petrified wood and this looks highly agatized I just spotted this big interesting looking rock right here so I decided to chip off the edge and spray it and that looks like some interesting stuff. Maybe quartzy but has some color in it. So I can imagine slabbing this rock, making some calves. What do you think? I think we'll take this one. Look at this crazy little red velvet bug walking around. I tell you, only in the desert do you find such amazing little creatures. Wow. That is interesting looking. Okay, it's like he has a red velvet coat on, or she. I shouldn't assume it's a he. I have no idea, and I wouldn't know how to begin to tell the difference. I just picked up this big chunk of, I'm sure this is petrified wood. It's beautiful. It's dark, but you can just make out the grain in that. It's nice and chunky and heavy and beautiful. I don't know what I'll do with this one. I just love petrified wood, and this one looks like it is very nice. I kept finding all this, so I don't know if it's quartz or calcite, but this, these seams of this quartzy material, and I was thinking, where the heck is this coming from? And then I, I see something like this on the ground. <laughs> yeah, so the earth has a nice seam of whatever this is, right, running through here. That explains the, the frequent sightings of this stuff. I decided to check out the Rio Grande River. Here it is. It's not very high right now, is it? Of course, it is in the middle of summer. Looks like a good rock bar right there to go investigate. The problem is, that's Mexico. <laughs> so my side is yeah, not so great. Looks like there's a rock bar over there I can get to that's on the US side. 
That's probably where all the great agates are, right over there. Damn Mexico, it's got all the good stuff. Well, I found another spot where I can get down close to the Rio Grande, but before I get down there, I wanted to show you something. This little wall of rock right here is just man-made. The rocks were all pushed into place to clear the road. But what's interesting is, check this out. <laughs> Look at this interesting rock formation here. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful in there? Let me do a close-up. It's like some sort of betroidal pocket of, I don't know, some sort of agate stuff in there. Look at that. How interesting, huh? <laughs> that bodes well. This little piece just came right off, and look at that. Cool quartz point right there. I guess that's quartz. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I'll keep that little specimen. All right, I'm officially on the Rio Grande, and that rock looks interesting. Let's get it wet. Could that be a Rio Grande agate? I don't know, but I sure as heck I'm going to pick it up and find out. I honestly don't know if this is an agate, and I don't really want to chip it right now to find out, but it has a great pattern on it, as you can see. So if that's not just staining, this will be a beautiful rock to I don't know, do something with in the shop. I'm definitely going to keep this one. This could be the first... Rio Grande agate of the trip. Well, look what I just found. This is definitely some kind of agate. You can see the fine banding in there. Wow, this makes my day right here because this looks like it'll be really beautiful when I cut it. I just picked this piece up and to me it looks like a big chunk of opal. <laughs> it may not be, it may be something else, but I broke this tip off here and that looks just like the opal I'm used to playing with, so I think I'll take this. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe make some cabochons. I gotta say, I really like this Rio Grande rock bar. As you can see, there are a lot of rocks and just about all of them are interesting. So if you just spray them down, you see something cool. Now, that doesn't mean they're good for lapidary work. And here's another one that's really interesting. Check this out when I get it wet. Look at the color and pattern on that one. Wow. I don't think it's an agate, but what do you think? Would that be a fun one to play with in the shop? Oh, well, check this out. This just made my day. This is a moss agate. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, just out here in the riverbed. I normally have to pay a premium for this kind of stuff. I love it. Beautiful. Wow, it is ridiculously hot out here. It's 3.15 and I'm calling it a day. So I've hit two spots today and have found some really cool things at both spots, but this area, I'm definitely coming back here. There are a lot of interesting rocks here, so I'll come back in the morning when it's not 110 degrees out, because I'll bet you that's what it is. When I, when I get in my truck and turn on that engine, it'll give me the outside temperature and 110. They even told me at the ranger station I went to earlier that down here by the river, it's about 10 degrees hotter than everywhere else because it's low, and I believe it. It's just miserably hot out here, so. But I got some great rocks, so we'll see you uh, tomorrow, I guess. Well, I was close, 108. <laughs> okay, I'm back out here on the Rio Grande River. The next morning, it's much cooler. It's probably only in the mid 80s. <laughs> I just found this. I think this is some kind of agate. You can just make out what I believe are bands. What do you think? Check out this interesting rock I just found. It looks like a mossy agate, all right, but it also is the perfect shape and size for the tumbler. This will turn out beautiful. I'm telling you, I have very high hopes for this once it gets tumbled and polished. Now, I'm really excited about this piece. This looks like really pretty jasper with greens and yellows in there. Wow. I don't think this is staining. I think this is a just a beautiful chunk of jasper. Well, I can't wait to do something with this. Check out this most interesting looking rock. It almost feels like it's an opal base, but you can see there's... There's stuff in it. I've not seen anything like this one before, so this is definitely a keeper. Check out this cool agate I just found. This has lots of interesting stuff on it. Look at that. Wow, it's sort of a, I, I don't know if it's a, like a yellow moss agate, but as you can see, there's a lot going on inside this thing. This will be really fun to slab. Well, I'm not 100% sure this is plume agate, but you see the 
the chalcedony there and that dark, I don't know what it is, it's, it looks plumy to me though. So I think I'm gonna take this piece on the off chance that that's actually a plume agate up there. Check out this little agate nodule I found. The only reason I'm sure it's an agate nodule is look, I can see right through there, there's something going on. Oh, this is gonna be fun to get back to the shop and split in two. <laughs> I can't wait to find out, will this have bands in it? Will it just be a boring chunk of chalcedony? Yeah, we'll know soon enough. I'm so glad I dug this one. I just saw this little top coming up out of the ground and I got it out and I sprayed it down and wow, what an interesting quartzy agate rock this is. Wow, check that out. That is stunning. I don't know what I'll do with this one, but whew, I'll get it home and get it cleaned up to start with. I may leave it as is. What a, just an incredible rock. And like I said, it was just this very top part was coming out of the ground. I, I noticed I could see that little bit of black banding, just a little bit. So I popped the whole thing up and I was like, whoa, what do we have here? Cool. Love it. Check it out, guys. I think I just found another beautiful moss agate. Look at that. Wowza. That really makes my day. I love finding this kind of stuff. Look at the design. Let's, let's get this out. Holy moly. That is stunning. Wow. <laughs> I cannot wait to get a slab out of this thing. Imagine the beautiful cabochon this is going to make. This day just keeps getting better. Check this out. Let me get this wet. Look at this agate. Wow. <laughs> I had no idea that the Rio Grande was going to have this sort of selection. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wow. Oh my. I'm, I'm just speechless. <laughs> wow. I cannot wait to get this thing home and get it cleaned up. That is going to be incredible. Holy moly. I'm very happy I came to West Texas. Well, it's, it's 1230 and it's getting hot again, really hot. But I'm having such a great trip that I'm going to head back down. I dropped off my rocks in the truck, drank a lot of water, brought some with me. My bucket's empty again. It's time to get back down there and find some more. But I think what I'm going to do now is just go for the home run balls. I was picking up a lot of small, small interesting rocks that I wasn't showing you that'll be for tumbling and other things. Now I'm only gonna look for the really great agates and uh, jaspers and just the, the outstanding pieces, which as you can see from earlier in this video, there are some there. Hopefully I'll find some more. We'll see. I might regret this because this is a big, big stone, but I believe this is a beautiful big chunk of jasper. Look at the reds and the greens in this thing. Wow, and that'll fit on my 18 inch saw, but barely. Here's my hand for scale. So I'm gonna get this thing back, because I think that is, that's a keeper for sure. That's one of those home run, one of the home run balls, don't you think? Well, I think this one's worthy of a look. Check this out, it's definitely an agate. Wow, very pretty. I'm not sure what I'll do with this one. This one I'll probably tumble. Yeah, just tumble a little bit to get it smooth enough to take a polish. I think this could be a stunner when it's all finished. What do you think? Wow, oh, definitely a home run on this one. Very close to where I found that last one, I found this one. Look, another one. Now these are interesting. They're clearly agates, but they're also, I guess, maybe a little quartzy, but still, look at the detail in this thing. This would be another fun one to tumble and polish. Wow. And right after I stopped filming that one, I looked over and I saw this rock. This looks really interesting. Let's get it wet. That looks like a colorful piece of something. Whoa. I don't know, but I like it. Yeah, let me get this cleaned up. This may be a keeper. Wow, this sure is pretty. Whatever this is, I'm definitely going to take it back. I'm not sure if it's an agate or jasper, but wow. This will make a nice cabochon, whatever it is. Well, I would say this qualifies as a home run. Check this out, this beautiful, beautiful agate right here. Wow, it was just laying there in the ground. And now it's going to be turned into something beautiful. Wow, I cannot believe the quality of rocks I'm finding out here. This is an amazing spot. Now this one intrigues me. I think this might be an agate nodule. Notice you can see that fine strip of chalcedony right there. Let's dig this out and see what it is. Oh, well, 
regardless of what this is, I'm definitely going to take it home and slice it because it looks like like a giant thunder egg or an agate nodule. I mean, you have to agree, right? This just must have something really cool on the inside. So it's definitely going to be cut and polished at some point. Yeah, check it out. All I did was just spray off this one little end right here where the window is. Look at that. This is magnificent. Can you imagine what this is going to look like on the inside? <laughs> wow, I'm very happy I found this. Check out this really pretty piece of moss agate that I just picked up. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it really stood out, this color, and then you can see that mossiness in there. <laughs> what a beautiful rock. Well, it's only a little after 2 p.m., but I have got to quit. It is just unbearably hot out here. As you saw, I found some amazing rocks. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get these back to Austin to the shop, get them cut and polished. I used to be jealous of all those fine people up there in the north. You know, those who get to rock hound on the beautiful Yellowstone River or the shores of Lake Michigan. I just, I've always been so jealous of them. But after today, <laughs> this is about a seven and a half hour drive from where I live in Austin. And seeing the quality of agate I'm finding here just blows me away. And I can honestly say I'm not jealous anymore. Well, maybe a little bit because it is so beautiful up there. But otherwise, turns out we can get some great, great agates down here the very tip of this nation. So I'm gonna head back to the uh, lodge, get cleaned up, probably jump in the pool. And I think I have one more day. I think I'm gonna come back here tomorrow. I know three days in a row, right? But it, I can't pass it up. There's still quite a bit of area I didn't get to. I'll come out here again early and see what we can find. I'm not sure I can trust that. This is just idling here, but it says 127. It's probably not that hot but it's not that much cooler, I can promise you that. That's more like it. it settled in at 115, I can believe that. All right, it's my last morning of rock hunting. I'm back on this same Rio Grande rock bar. I can only stay a couple of hours because I met one of the locals yesterday at the lodge where I'm staying, and he invited me to check out his land later today for some rocks. He lives basically on the side of a mountain, so that seemed kind of exciting. So I'm going to spend a couple hours out here and I'm only going to pick up what I described as home run rocks. It's a little tricky walking and filming right now because this is a very rocky section. Anyway, I will show you what I find. Well, here's my first interesting rock of the day. This is clearly a quartzy agate rock, similar to one I found yesterday. I'll bet this will make some really interesting cabochons. Look at this beautiful little agate rock I just found. That is pretty. Here's an interesting piece of agate. This is more of that plume agate. I found some of this yesterday right around the same spot. This is beautiful stuff, and I think it'll be awesome when I slab it. Now this, I believe, is a beautiful, colorful piece of River tumbled petrified wood. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Oh, that's just, that's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. I bet this is going to have some interesting stuff when we slab it. You can just make out the agatiness in here. It also looks opaly. Yeah, I think this will be a beauty once we get it cut. Here's another one of those that looks kind of interesting. Let's get it wet. What do you think? Would that one be worth plucking it out of the ground. Let's see. Oh, well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, there we go. <laughs> what do we got here? Well, let me clean it up. Maybe it'll be a keeper. You know what? I think I'm going to keep this one. It has enough going for it that I think it'll be interesting when I cut into it. You can just make out some fine pattern in there. So yeah, I think this is a keeper. Ooh, look what's hiding right here. Do you think this will be something good? Let's get wet and see. Ooh, I think I need to dig that out. Let's see if I can get it here. All right. Ooh, let's clean this up and see what this is. Ooh, this is a nice agate. Check this out. You can see it has some red in there and some blue. Wow, this is another home run. Check it out. I cannot wait to get this back home, get it cleaned up. 
All right, let's find some more. That looks kind of interesting. Oh yeah, I think we gotta get that one out. Let's see, this is gonna be deep. Oh, rock fell on my phone there. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, let me get this cleaned up. Oh, I definitely think this one's worthy of taking and slabbing. Look at all that quartz in there and how it's surrounded by this white material, sort of agate material. Ah, I think this would be interesting when we get it cut open. Check this out. Even after all those amazing agates I found, this one may be the most special. This is, if you look closely, it's some sort of blue and gold plume agate. Wow. <laughs> I, I barely spotted this one. It just, something said, look at that rock. Spray it, see what it looks like. Because I could see some like very light blue specks on it. And then I rinsed it. Oh man, this, this may be the find of the trip right here. This stuff is not common at all. Oh, that's gonna make a beautiful cabochon. Check out this little agate I just found. It's obviously saginitic. Wow, that's beautiful. It's a little small, so it'll probably end up in the tumbler, but wow, I like that. Ah, well, unless I happen to find something at this gentleman's land out near where I'm staying, that little saginitic agate will be the last find of the trip, which I think is the perfect cherry on top. This has been an amazing rock hounding trip especially for agates now i've been editing this video along the way and i know it's getting too long so i'm going to be cutting it short here fear not what i will do is i will make a follow-up video very soon featuring all of the really amazing agates that i found i'll get them home get them cleaned up and we can look at them under some ideal conditions so please stay tuned for that and if i happen to find something at this next stop i will certainly film it well the very generous local landowner put me on his 66 plus acres here he said go for it try to find some cool rocks so i've been looking around and honestly i have not been finding anything lapidary worthy still some beautiful rocks but you know what it doesn't matter you want to know why because check out his location here he has 66 acres that overlook this do you know what that is i'll give you a hint it's a national park located in the Big Bend region of Texas. That's Big Bend National Park. Way over there, those mountains over there, that's actually Mexico. And then this little peak right here, if I'm not mistaken, that's called Needle Peak. Needle Peak is famous for its agates. I think it's a plume agate. So I'm close to that, but so far I haven't really found anything. I did find some chalcedony veins, but nothing exciting. I'm gonna keep walking around a little bit more. You never know what you'll run into out here. It doesn't really matter though with this view. I'm just happy to be here. Well, honestly, I haven't found much, so this is the end of the video, but check out the view from up here. I decided to climb this little mountain just to get this spectacular view. And besides, it's actually a little cooler up here. Well, be sure and check my other videos, especially my upcoming videos, because I will be putting out one that shows all these wonderful agates I found up close so we can take a better look at them. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it.